Good morning, D1. Happy Wednesday. Let's go ahead. Let's look at your jobs for today. So first things first, we have our assignment since the week of the 22nd through the 26th, and it is Wednesday, February 24th. We're going to go ahead. We're going to scroll down. We are going to see our morning work. We are going to continue working on abbreviations. And with our abbreviations, you are going to go ahead, you are either going to read or listen to these sentences. Then you're going to go ahead, you're going to take the highlighting sticks, click and drag over the abbreviation. So you find the abbreviation in the sentence. You are going to click and drag the highlighting tool over it. Then you're going to type what the abbreviation stands for in the boxes here. So you're going to do that for each of these sentences. Then you have your journal, and it is Words of Wisdom Wednesday. Um, our quote comes from Albert Einstein, and our quote today is, Creativity is intelligence having fun. So remember, you are responding to the quote with five to six sentences explaining what you think it means, and as well as how it applies to you. Sentence frames and starters are over here on the right, as always, um, and so you can use those. Again, it does not require that you use these. That is just a support if you need it. Then we have our Zoom at 9 o'clock. After our Zoom, we are going to go ahead. We are going to be looking at research animals for our biome. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click on the IB. So you guys went ahead on, I believe it was Monday. You guys um, voted for which biomes you would like to research more about. And based on that information, I use that information to put you guys into groups. Now, my friends who followed my directions and chose one, a different biome for each one, you got one of your top three choices. Um, I believe everyone got their top top one or top two choices. Um, people who did not follow the directions and just went down and clicked the same biome for every single one option. Um, you did not get one of your choices because that was not following my directions and that makes my job a little bit harder. Um, so keep that in mind. You guys have been organized now into biome groups and I'm, I will meet with you guys um, late. I believe next week we're going to try and start meeting for biome groups, but for now you are going to be um, assigned to these biomes. So our rainforest group, ocean group, deciduous forest group, desert, tundra, and grasslands. And so your job is to now start thinking about which one animal from that biome you want to learn more about. Miss Walsh has provided you with some ideas. You need to come up with at least three. So these are just ideas. These are not the only options you have. You can go and research on your own and look for ocean biome animals, rainforest biome animals, um, and then you can find some other options as well. But this is just to kind of brainstorm and get your guys' um, ideas thinking. So, for example, Sawyer, he's grasslands. So Sawyer would look at the grassland options. If he isn't crazy about these options, that's totally okay. He's just going to open another tab and he's going to type in grassland biome animals. And you'll see that there are going to be a ton of options that pop up. Here's a couple right here. And then you're going to see that there's some images. Ooh, so like there's an image right here that clicks on it um, that you can click on. And oh, okay, so here's some more options, right? And so um, after you go ahead and you decide which one you would like to do, whether you did some um, research on your own or you used um, these ideas that Miss Walsh has provided you, you are then going to click Animal Research Top 3 Choices. And you're going to see, you're going to put your name, and then you're going to put your top three choices of animals. Again, you may not put the same option for all three spots because that's not following the directions, and it's going to make it hard for us each to get our own individual animal. We do not want to have the same animal as anyone else in class because we're going to be talking about them with each other, and if we have the same animals, 
it's going to be a little bit difficult and we're going to hear the same um, presentation over and over again. So we want to make sure that we have each different animal. So please come up with at least three. Alrighty. Then you're going to go ahead, you're going to have a break. Please take your time with this research, Animals for Biomes. Um, this is going to be the animal you are going to be writing about. So we're going to be spending a lot of time. So make sure that you are really happy with your top three choices. Um, so please spend some extra time on that. Then you have a break. After your break, you are going to move on to your spelling job. Again, we are working with our controlled syllables um, and we're going to we know that the R sound kind of changes the way that the vowel sounds. And so we're going to go ahead, we're going to go down. And we're going to see that we are given five words that we need to write sentences for. So you're going to include these words in each sentence. Um, I have some friends who have been superstars. They've gone back and they highlighted the words. So they went ahead and they created a sentence. I can't wait to practice cursive and then they'll go back and they'll highlight it again this is not mandatory but something like this is really awesome because then you checking with yourself oh yeah I made sure I put the word in and then it also helps Miss Walsh which is very nice um, but again that's not required it's just there um, as an option then you have Stuart Little, Chapter 11. Um, this is going to be your only job for ELA today um, because I really want you to focus on the research for your animal bio, um, your animal based on your biome. And then Stuart Little today, I will not lie, is a little bit longer. Um, so keep that in mind um, when you're looking at our jobs for today. You can go ahead, you can click on the book cover, or you can go ahead and you can click on the speaker to listen to the audio. Then you're going to have your questions. Yes, I know number two is missing. That is intentional. Um, I do not want you guys to worry about that. Um, so you are just going to be doing these guys right here. All right. So number two is purposely missing. Keep that in mind. All right. Then we have a lunch. After lunch, you are going to be working on division word problems. We are going to be talking more about division word problems um, in Zoom today. And so um, when we're going to take what we've learned from Zoom and we're going to apply it to this here. And so you can see your job is going to be answering these word problems. But when we're answering these word problems, we are also going to be um, including our work. So you can see Miss Walsh drew a picture showing you exactly um, how she solved this problem. So it was 35 divided by 7. So I went ahead, 35 divided by 7. I drew seven groups and I counted all, and I drew a dot in each circle and kept going until I got to 35. And then I had five dots in each circle. So I know that I have to read five pages a day. Um, again, this one's just an example. Then you're going to move on to numbers two, three, and four. And again, as we're going to practice, I promise in Zoom, um, your answers need to be in complete sentences. So um, instead of just writing five, I said, Miss Walsh will need to read five pages a day. So you are going to respond with complete sentences for each of these. And then you're also going to include a picture of your work. You can do an array. You can do equal groups. Just showing me some way how you are able to solve this problem. All right. And then finally, I ready math. And then you guys are done for the day. Um, clean up. And yeah, that's going to be it. Um, if you have questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys soon. Bye, D1.